Cervical cancer, that is cancer of the mouth of the uterus is also known as the cancer of the cervix. If a virus named HPV virus remains in the body for a very long time, it can cause cervical cancer. Majority of the time it has been considered a sexually transmitted disease. See a lot of times, if we talk about the beginning, then there may not be any symptoms. If someone has dirty discharge from the vaginal area, then this is one of the symptoms. At times, if there is abnormal bleeding between two menses, then this can also be a symptom. If there is bleeding after sexual intercourse, then that can also be a symptom. If menopause has happened and still there is bleeding or dirty discharge from the vagina, then these are a few symptoms. But, always keep in mind that sometimes there are no symptoms in the beginning. So any sexually active person can get this disease, and if you smoke then the chances increase further. While talking about the diagnosis of cervical cancer, many times when on screening we find something suspicious we do a colposcopy or biopsy, and with the biopsy of the tissue the diagnosis is proven. So, first of all, there should be prevention and such a situation should not arise where treatment is needed. But even if there is a need for treatment, there is no need to worry. Go to your doctor and get it treated. In the treatment, if the disease is caught at the initial stage, then surgery is its treatment and if the patient is young, there is also the option of fertility preservation. If the disease is caught late, it is in the advanced stage, then either radiation or chemotherapy becomes the treatment. Two preventive measures are very important, one of them is screening and the other one is vaccination which is made for cervical cancer. It is safe. Get your girls above the age of 9 vaccinated and women up to the age of 26 need to get it done. After that, up to 45 years of age, meet your gynecologist and they will suggest whether the injection is right for you, so please get it done, even though RT is over, but the discussion of cervical cancer should continue. Because only if this discussion continues, we will be able to ensure that India and the whole world are free from cervical cancer.